The children stressed that African education system for many years catered only for intellectual learners and students, excluding those with non-academic intellectual. Junior Chopiro from Botswana noted that COVID-19 impacted their education negatively because of a lack of access to IT gadgets. Chopiro stressed that children should be given the necessary opportunities and equipment they need by their governments for them to progress without hindrance. This will empower children to embrace their unique talent from a young age that empowering the generation and future generations to come. A multiple pathway system will enable the young children to know their abilities, potential from an early age, thus creating a better world for all to develop their capabilities. Ladies and gentlemen, due to, due to COVID-19, students were unable to express their talents to use their capabilities. That was, a, that was a challenge for many students and the multiple pathway system will be very helpful. Yande Banda from Zambia reminded the four heads of state that for a long time government have taken decisions that affect them on their behalf and it's about time they are made fully part of such decisions. Banda emphasized that children do not only want their governments to build more schools and hire teachers, but transform the education system for the benefit of all children. Better after COVID-19. The children in this room are saying, show us. You say that you will create a greener, more prosperous future and climate change and child marriage. You say you will end teenage pregnancies. We say, show us. Show us a gender transformative education system. Show us an education that does not discriminate, especially against children with disabilities. And show us an education system that centers climate justice and, and gender equality. Rivaldo Kavanga is from Namibia, and his was on children with disability. Kavanga is not pleased that some children with disability are still denied access to education, particularly by their guardians who lock them up and keep them away from the world and deny them human basic rights. He emphasized that 32 years after the Convention of Children's Rights was adopted, a lot is still desired. Children with disabilities face heightened risk of violence, abuse, neglect, exploitation compared to children without disabilities. They are more likely to experience family separation and be placed in institutions, less likely to be, to be registered at birth and face, additional, addi and face additional barriers to accessing justice. So what this means in its entirety is that while children with disabilities are out, they get, while they are facing abuse, violence, discrimination, they still find it difficult to access justice. Children stress that most countries, Namibia included, have good policies on children's rights, but with very little or no implementation to that effect. In the presence of their leaders, they directly demanded from them to take children on board when making decisions that affect their rights. Sililom Viana, Kazungula, Poswana.